it's Diana Woolen. How are you today? Today we're making delicious marinara sauce with sausage, sweet sausage, and you're going to love it. All right, the first thing we're going to do, take three cloves of garlic, cut them up, put three tablespoons of oil in this pan, and we're going to brown the uh, garlic. I don't put onion in here, too. A lot of people do, but I don't like onion in my sauce, so I won't put it in. Okay, now we're going to let that cook. It's already starting. Make sure you don't burn the uh, garlic. Now in this pan here, I went to the butcher and I got delicious Lagostino's sweet sausage. And we're going to brown it in here. See this one. All right. Brown this first. What I'm using today is Cento San Marzano peeled tomatoes. This, this is the best. First, we've got to do this. Brown the uh, garlic. I'm watching it very carefully. It doesn't burn. This is for flavor. going to do is we make the sauce, brown the sausage, put it in there, and we're going to cook it for two hours. So I'm just going to show you how to make the marinara sauce. All right. Let's get this in the pan. It's going to sizzle. And I'm going to add a cup of water and a half a cup of water so I don't bubble all over everything. And then we're going to crush tomatoes with this. This is a masher, but it works. Alright, crush it good. Let me lower that a few minutes. Yeah, this has to be crushed. And anyway, as it cooks, it'll uh, get soft the tomatoes. Alright? Watching this at the same time. Come out delicious. <laughs> Next is tomato paste. Now I'm using half of the tomato paste in this pan because we use too much of it, the sauce gets bitter. Alright? Just half. It. Let's get the spoon in here. Mix it around. Then I'm using red pepper flakes. Just a little bit. There's the heat. Oregano. Got a dash. About like that, okay? Put it in there. Basil here. Same amount. Not too much of that. Alright, like that. Put it in there. Um, sugar. One teaspoon and a half of sugar so it doesn't get not tart. And so let's mix this around and of course wine. Don't forget the wine. About a half a cup. Half 
put about three quarters of a cup of red wine in the sauce. All right. Now today I have Rufino Chianti. Delicious. All right, now let's get that all mixed together. And we're going to throw in fresh basil. Cook. And let's concentrate on the sauces. All you gotta do is brown it. Well, okay, there we go. Get it a good browning, and then we're going to toss it in there, and we're gonna leave it there for two hours. I cook the whole thing um, on low for two hours. Because I like my sauce, it's nice and um, soft. Alright? And I'll put the recipe at the bottom of the video. This is this comes out so delicious. So good. Almost done. Let's just brown a little bit more. See how this is getting here? Nice and brown. A little bit more. I don't want it too browned up. I don't want it burnt or anything, just a little, a little bit like that. Now we're going to put that right in there. Two more here we got to do. I don't want to splatter, so I'm going to put the wine away. And the sugar. Almost done. You could serve this with anything, spaghetti, macaroni, anything you want, noodles, just a little brown, that's it, not too much, and it's all burn. see if this is browned enough, just want a little, two more minutes, and that will be it. See how it's boiling there, as soon as it boils, you put the sausage in there. We're gonna stir it, and now we're going to lower the heat. Give it a nice cover here. And we're gonna lower the heat right now. And I'm putting it on low for th two hours. All right. Now let's get this out of the way. All right, now that's it. This is gonna cook for two hours. Two and a half, whatever you want. Put it on low. When you're done, everything's going to come out nice and soft. The sausage, the uh, sauce is going to be delicious. And you can boil whatever you want and it'll be delicious. So that's it for today. I'll see you again with another delicious recipe. Bye-bye.